hit the red subscribe button right under the video and also the bell icon to get notification on any of our latest updates on our videos. Hey all, welcome to Smart View Kite Tutorial. So you are still on DC motors and I am going to solve this question on shunt mode. So a 220 volt DC shunt motor will cross 10 ampere at 1800 rpm. Armature resistance is 0 0.2 ohms and field winder resistance is 440 ohms. Now let's see the data we are given. We are given VT to be equals to 220 volts. That is the terminal voltage here. We are given the speed of the motor to be 1800 rpm. The question says the motor draws 10 ampere, which means IL is 10 amps. The pin wind resistance is 0 0.2 ohms. Oh, thank you, pardon. This is uh, amateur resistance. And the pin wind resistance is so we are asked to find the torque. Now based on this, we know the equation of the torque to be P over omega, while omega is in, in the speed in rad per second. So the power of the motor is Ea Ia. So to find Ia, we first have to find the current through the field winding. So IF, you can see from the diagram that since it is a shunt motor, VT is the same voltage across this branch as well as across this branch. So IF is going to be VT over RF and this is 220 volts over 440 which is 0 0.5 ampere so now from the current equation we know that IL equals to IA plus IF and that means IA is going to be IL minus IF so we have 10 minus 0 0.5 which is 9.5 ampere so the voltage of the motor, you know, is Pt minus IARA, which is the terminal voltage, minus the drop across the armature. So we have 220 minus 9.5 divided by 0 0.2, that is armature resistance. And this is going to give us 218 volt. Now the power is EAIA which is 218 multiplied by 9.5 and we are going to have 2070 watt now the motor speed in red, red per second is 2 pi and the speed in revolution per minute divided by 60 so this is 2 pi Multiply by 1800 all by 60. And this is 188 rad per second. So now the torque, which is P over omega, is going to be 2070 watts divided by 188 rad per second. And we are going to have 11 newton meter as our torque. Now the second part here asks us to find the speed and line current at a torque of 20 newton meter if field current is constant. So if field current remain constant, that is IF will remain at 0 0.5 ampere. Now we have obtained IL here to be 0 0.5. So for the B part, 
we know that IF is 0 0.5 ampere. So we know that torque is given by EAIA or omega. Which is equal to the power of omega. But omega is Ea divided by k, where k is a motor constant. Now k ampere is constant and it doesn't change, so that means k pi is going to be Ea over omega which is 218 divided by 188 we are going to obtain 1.16 now it can be seen that from this equation above that is TA here we have EA over omega which is the same thing as k pi here. So this means our torque is k pi multiplied by the current IE. This is going to be 1.16 IE. Now the torque is already given as 20 Newton meter. So that means our IA is going to be T over 1.16, which is 20 divided by 1.16. And this is going to be 17.3 ampere. Now, since IF remains constant at 0 0.5 ampere, it follows that IL is going to be IA plus IF, which is 17.3 plus 0 0.5. We are going to have 17.8 ampere. Now we are trying to obtain the speed at this value of amateur current. So we say B E E A, the terminal voltage minus the drop across the armature. This is 220 minus remember here is 17.3 multiplied by the armature resistance. So this is going to be 217 volt. Now omega equals to E over the constant K pi. This is going to be 217 divided by 1.16. And we are going to obtain 187 rad per second. We can convert this speed from right per second to RPM, that is you multiply omega by 60 and divide by 2 pi. Do this and you are going to have 1790 RPM. So based on these values, you can draw a conclusion that this motor is a constant speed motor because here in the first part we are having a field uh, an amateur current of 9.5 ampere and in the second part of the question we are having 17.3 ampere as our amateur current but the speed doesn't change so this is a characteristic of a shunt DC motor. It operates at constant speed. Remember, you can always give your feedback in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video.